Today we are going to learn about materials and curriculum development in English language teaching. Subscribe student talkies for more informative videos. Materials could be anything that promotes learning. Materials are powerful stimuli dot for generating learning. A more dynamic approach would be one which selects materials for their potential. Examples of materials are newspaper, pamphlet, movies, books, ads, notices. Components of material production are choosing, using, modifying, reteaching. Choosing materials must be used as per the need of the learners. Using materials should be used in the classroom. And analyze the result. Modifying modifying the syllabus as per the need of the learners. Reteaching reteach the materials again. There are two types of materials: literary materials, non-literary materials. Literary materials, novels, short stories, essays, poems, non literary materials, newspaper, songs, videos. Advantages of literary materials. Literary materials is also called as authentic materials. Writers wrote only for pleasure of readers because it was written by native speakers. It was flawless, perfect in language use. Variety in themes. We can learn their culture. And tradition of native speakers. We have to learn carefully. Their one sentences have multiple meanings. Example Francis Bacon. Epigrammatic style. One sentence have multiple meanings. Organized sentence structures. It has high educational values and help in understanding culture and tradition. It acts as a stimulus, develops learners' interpretation abilities. It provides entertainment, variety in themes and style. Highly valued when you read from the text. It expands the knowledge and application is high. It encourages learners to speak as extrovert. It enhances creativity. And critical thinking. It provides learners with meaningful context. Next one is advantages of non literary text. Non literary materials. Are not written in the intention of language teaching. Example newspaper, movies, songs, ads. It exposes learner to real language. It exposes learners to variety of vocabulary and sentence structure. It relates to the learner's needs. Learners are endowed with more creative approach to learning. Advantages. Reading a literary text includes searching for motifs, metaphors, and symbolism. But reading and analyzing a non-literary text is quite different. Analyzing a non-literary text requires confirming the facts, gaining knowledge, developing skills, and performing tasks. Principles of materials designed, culture specific, language learning must be contextualized. Language used in general, text must be authentic and realistic. It must deal with written and spoken language. The materials must engage the learners. The materials should include audio visual aids. It must foster leaner autonomy. Materials should be flexible enough to use individual dot and contextual ways. Materials should affect the learners intellectually dot and effectively. Curriculum development will be dealt in upcoming videos. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you for listening.